Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install the Lolly Clock Simple Overclock plugin on your PS Vita. So if you guys are interested in installing this, all you want to do first is just open up Vita Shell, and then when Vita Shell loads, press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to Lollycon in the description. Now the name of it is a bit weird, I have to admit I don't really like it, but it is a pretty cool plugin. So if you scroll down, it tells you um, what it is. Uh, this is the name of it, so Offends Little Idiots Console. I don't know why they came up with that. But basically what it does, it's a small on-screen console um, that runs from the kernel, um, which means you don't actually need the KUIO Curo plugin anymore, if that's how you say it and it's basically for overclocking. So you can add um, 500 MHZ uh, overclocking now on your games. Um, it's experimental, so it could crash your game, um, but it's actually less likely, uh, which is pretty cool. So it's really simple overclocking program. I've done quite a lot of overclocking videos, and apparently this plugin is really simple, and a few people wanted a video on it. So here is how you install it. All you do is you get the skprx file, and then you add it to your uh, Euros tie folder, and then obviously you just put this line of text under the kernel in the config folder. So we're just going to download it now, go into releases, there's three versions, um, but it has actually been updated quite recently. So we're just going to get this version right here, uh, just download it. Now we're going to go to our PC's downloads folder, we can find it here. Um, I've got mine connected by USB connection, so I'm just going to drag and drop it across. So once it's on the root of your PS Vita, now I'm going to go onto my PS Vita and I will show you guys where to put the file. Right, so back on our PS Vita, we can now find the plugin. Mine should be in my UXO file. So if I go into this and scroll down, here is my SKPRX plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to my TI folder, which is in my Euro. So I'm just going to press triangle and go to copy. So I'm going to say one file copied. I'm then going to go back into my URO, into my tie folder, uh, press triangle at the top and then paste. Now what I want to do is just scroll up, go into the config.txt, just press X on it. Now go down to kernel, press right on the D-pad for a new line and then press X on the new line. So I'm just going to type out what you guys need to type in and then you can copy it down. So that is all you need to type in uro dot dot slash ti slash lollycon dot skprx. Now when you've got that typed in, tap the black arrow down here and it's just going to add it in like that. So now what you want to do is just press circle, press x to save, press circle all the way to the back of your Vita shell main menu and then just press the start button and go down to reboot. Just press x on it and your PS Vita is just going to reboot quickly. Okay, so back on the PS Vita after it's rebooted, obviously I need to run my HMCart update again, so I'm just going to do that real quick. Now to test if the plugin works, what you have to do is actually hold select and then press up on the D-pad. As you can see, it's going to come up with the Lollycon. It's kind of like a um, VHS menu. So as you can see, we've got some options on here. We've got save for main, save as default, clear settings, overclock options. That is probably the most interesting. OSD options, control options, exit game, suspend Vita, restart Vita, shut down Vita. Pretty much all of these commands are fairly common, just like the original PSP's ones. But the overclock one is the most interesting. So if we press X, we can go into it. As you can see, there are profiles on here, but we can actually set certain stuff. So what you do is you use left and right on the D-pad to change through stuff. So we've got default, game default, max preference, um, that one, <laughs> which is basically just overkill. Um, I don't know if you guys can read that. I'm just not going to say it because it's family friendly. Um, max battery, um, that seems to be a bit strange. I'm not quite sure what that's doing. And yeah, that's all of them. So um, I think I'm going to keep mine on default. Obviously, whatever you want it on, you just put it on. So let's say ma max preference, you just press circle to go back and now it will work. You can always press X on save for main and it's going to save the configuration. So let's just press uh, select and then down. 
and then the menu will just close like that. So my, right now, uh, mine's on that overclock preference, which I just selected. So obviously, if you play games, you might notice it. Uh, people are saying this is very good with Borderlands 2, so I don't know if that's a game you guys are interested in, but I've never played it personally, but maybe it's something you'd want to do. Obviously, you just press select and up to open it again. We've also got OSD options. Um, that basically is like show FPS, uh, show battery, and that sort of thing. Obviously, you just turn it on by pressing X uh, for one and then circle. And then if I save it, it should now save F and now it will show FPS. But as you can see, my airplane uh, logo is actually in the way. Uh, so for me, that's not really too useful. So I'm just going to turn that off real quick. So yeah, it's actually a pretty cool plugin. I really like it. Really simple and has some really nice options on here. Um, it's also got exit game that just basically quickly ex exits your game. So let's just press select and down to close it. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, that's just like a really simple plugin you guys might enjoy. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.